So I'm Gui Ting. Um, I am 24 and I currently work as a graphic designer in Shopback. So I get that question quite a lot when uh, I always stay kept to, to work. So taxi uncles will ask, oh, what you do? Uh, what's your job? And I'll say, oh, I'm a designer. Then they were like, oh, so you do like advertising. <laughs> so you um, do like flyers and brochures. So those are the um, things that people relate to first. And I guess it's also a lot to do with what they have been taught in the past as well. So design was mostly um, on advertising, on like printed brochures and posters. But I think it has changed a lot now that um, most people are exposed to other stuff as well. Like, oh, branding's design. Um, it's not just like things you print or things that you draw. <laughs> so what is design to me? Design is providing solutions for people. It's not art. It's not a craft, um, definitely. I think there's a, there's a difference in everything. Um, this is why art is not called design. Design is not called art. It's not something that um, you want people to interpret. Design is something that you need people's attention, not something that they have to work for it, but you have to work for their attention. So something that you want to sell, something that you want to provide solution to, something that you want to solve, a problem that you want to solve, then that's design. Um, design is not just a flat medium or something that can explain with uh, certain mediums or certain artworks. Not a project, not a, a campaign, but something that can integrate to daily lives as well. So how you do certain stuff or um, what do you use to do certain stuff, that's design as well. Okay, so after I graduated from uh, Tomasic Poly, so I was from uh, Tomasic Poly Visual Communication, after that I decided to take a gap year before I joined uh, university, so I wanted to get a degree. Uh, so I took one year gap, but it didn't happen because um, halfway through I was got I got introduced to this uh, production company doing some sort of art direction, craft and props for some kids' uh, show, educational show. So since it's not uh, a design uh, job, I thought, of, why not just try in this uh, production house and uh, do some props for kids' show just, just because I can. And it's not really a, I don't really need a full-time job or need a high-paying job at that moment because I was planning to take a, a break. So I joined a company, did some sort of uh, uh, stuff and props for the kids show and after a while uh, I left and I got introduced to this job at uh, another startup company. So it's a fashion e-commerce company and I got exposed to marketing design. It's very different from what I learned in school so I got exposed to what is newsletters, what, uh, what it takes to create marketing design and uh, what tools do I need. So it's a lot of it's a different set of skills that I learned in school. So what we all thought was like, you know, publication, branding, advertising. I was never exposed to this uh, area of design that uh, you know, can be used for marketing, not like branding agency or advertising agency. I think that's what most people think uh, will be the next step in terms of career path after they graduate from a design school. So they would think oh, whether to go for branding or advertising. Not many people will want to be want to think of like a marketing designer. So the first challenge that I faced was um, trying to um, do something that uh, looks good to me, visually looks good, but also uh, something that will work in the aspect of marketing. So to make sure that it works, it cannot just look good. You must be able to tell the message that the the brand is trying to say to the customers and. Um, the purpose is to sell, so we need to sell something. So it's not just um, uh, doing something that looks good. Yeah. So after that, I got introduced to Shopback. So I, I was um, one of the, the first few people who joined Shopback. It was uh, believing in this company at the start. It was, taking, it was having faith in um, the people, the founders of this company as well. That I believe that this concept has a lot of potential and I believe that the people who founded this company was um, someone who I want to work for and work with. Uh, that's why I joined this company as a, as a graphic designer. It's a mix. So um, even traditional softwares like Adobe, Photoshop or Illustrator are still widely used, but most of the designers started starting to consider other, other softwares like, for example, Sketch. 
um, which is widely used for UI UX and product design. So people are trying to like consider whether uh, software like Sketch can be used for graphic design as well. And um, I think it's really interesting, but in terms of traditional print uh, mediums, we, we shouldn't forget the beauty of it as well. Of course, we need to rely on technology in the future, especially when um, most of the, the companies are moving towards the digital side. But a lot of stuff like paper or um, like even um, press print or uh, letterpress, these are the stuff that will, has a very long history and has a certain beauty that digital can never duplicate. And I believe that all designers um, in the world will appreciate it's not something that will die, definitely. I'm not saying that um, like, uh, print will die, that most people are, are trying to say now that print is going to die. It will never die. I believe that people still appreciate the beauty of books, paper. These are stuff that uh, are still taught in school and I believe that will continue to be uh, passed on to the other generation. There's a lot of purpose for design. It's not just um, something to beautify certain stuff or um, to make it look uh, better or attract certain target audience, certain, certain staff to say a certain stories, but um, it's in our everyday life. It's something that uh, everyone needs to see that it's everywhere.